guys, it's Cheryl here today. I want to show you how I made this plate using Dollar Tree material. So if you want to see how I did this, stick around. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back guys. It's Cheryl here today around the house with Cheryl. And so I'm going to show you uh, what I used to make this plate. Uh, and first I want to show you my, my shirt. Y'all like that? And then look at my earrings. I could pick these up last year. More clearance from Walmart. Aren't they cute? Okay, so before we get into this, I want to remind you to um, comment and like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of content. So let's get into the video of how I made this plate for my Halloween decorations. Sorry for the reflection. Hey guys, I am back. I want to show you what you need for this project. Um, I bought a new one of these, but they last. If you don't decoupage a lot, it lasts a long time. I had the other bottle like this for about 10 years. And this is a water-based sealant glue and finish. It's Mod Podge, and I picked this up from Walmart. And then the next thing you'll need are some brushes. These I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I showed you on my last haul. And I didn't buy new because I have plenty of this, I hope. But this is the Apple Barrel Black Matte Acrylic Paint. So you need some black paint. It doesn't matter what brand. And I picked up these uh, sponge brushes. And it has eight in the pack. I got these from the Dollar Tree. That's a good deal for that. You'll need some scissors. And you'll need a napkin. This is the one that I got from the Dollar Tree last year and I had some left and of course you're going to need a clear glass plate and make sure it's clean. I actually got these, they have them at the Dollar Tree, but I actually got this um, one from Yard Sale for 50 cents. Okay, so we're going to get into this and um, I'll show you how I did it. Hold on.
Thank you.